Almost daily, I get asked, what is better, Trello or Jira? Or, I'm already using Jira, so should I use Trello too? I'm going to answer these questions because it's super important to understand the difference between these two tools as it can help you figure out what's going to work best for you and your team or your next upcoming project. I've been in the Atlassian community for a while. I've been using Trello for about a decade and I've dabbled in Jira and I'm happy to help walk you through the differences. And that's exactly what we're gonna go through in this video. You're gonna see what the differences between them are, what they have in common, and help you figure out how to use them. And make sure to stick around to the end because I actually have a framework of questions I go through to help people understand which tool they need to use. All right, so let's start by diving into what are these tools and their general productivity tools and task management and Kanban, and you'll see all of these same sort of terms, but they're basically workflows for your projects. I like to think of them as like little databases, right? So these are databases with the things that you need to do, but you can add specific attributes to them like members and dates and checklists, and you can collaborate with comments and things like that. Again, they're both owned by Atlassian. They both have similar sort of pricing models. If you look at it, there's gonna be some things that are uh, free off the bat that you can do in both of the tools. It's gonna be pretty consistent. And then there's also gonna be some premium things that you need to pay for. I have other videos where I talk about pricing, so I'll link to that. Now let's open up and get under the hood and take a look at these tools and see what's going on so you can see what they look like and what they have in common and what kind of things work together how that's gonna look. So this is Trello, right? When you get started, you've got the concept of workspaces and you can have multiple workspaces, you can have multiple boards in workspace. Jira is the same sort of way. You might have different sort of teams that you work in or different uh, sort of overarching organizations, but it's all that sort of concept of having multiple items within those, but that's usually grouped by the way that you work. For getting started, you're gonna have templates in both tools, whether it's specific templates that you or someone on your team has created or a whole library of different templates. Both tools have these. It's very easy when you're creating a project in Jira or Trello to be able to see the different types of options that are available to you and how different people are using it and getting inspiration. The other things they have in common is they both have a similar sort of framework of you've got your standard board which is this overall concept like a digital whiteboard they both got that and then they both got these lists right so they could be different things you can be drag them around but they're basically the way you might group things inside of this board and it's super easy to move around and then you just add items inside of it and so in Trello we call them cards and you might have a card for a task and in Jira, there are issues. Once you've got a card open, they all share the same sort of components. You can assign members and labels and dates and different things. Uh, Jira is similar, but a little bit different. You might have to configure a little bit more if you wanna add things like dates or checklists or different things, but at the root of it, you can you know, still assign people to it. You can add labels to things. You can specify parents and dependencies or add child issues, or those are subtasks in Jira. We also have checklists inside of Trello, which is, uh, how we would keep track of subtasks there. And then there's also things like custom fields. So let's say in Jira, maybe you want an additional field for like priority or something. Well, that doesn't happen out of the box. You'd actually have to go configure it. Doesn't really happen out of the box in Trello either, but it's really easy to just click custom fields and say new, and you can call it priority and you could make it a drop down. You could leave it a text field. You could do whatever you want with it and it will save it to the card. And so now that is available for every card in that board. So that's the common units that they have. For all of them, you can kind of drag things around and do what you you need to do. So once I've created a task, I can move it along in my workflow linearly through these different stages. The other things they have in common is they're both going to have automation options. So for Trello, this is where I think it's really magical because it's not super intimidating, but you can build some really robust automations to say maybe when a card moves to a specific list, add a checklist, or when a label is added, or someone is assigned, or when something's completed to do any number of actions. Jira is also the same. You've got similar sort of options for automation automation where you can say when these sort of things happen, this is when I want to then do other things. So that's super easy to do with that. The other thing they both have in common is the ability to filter and sort through the information that you have. So for instance, let's say I want to filter and only see cards assigned to me. Trello has filters for that, that you can do across a specific board or across like all of your boards. Jira has the same sort of thing. There's kind of these like global filters, which are kind of cool, where you can just go over here and basically say all things assigned to me. And you can, you know, do different things with that. One big difference is that Jira actually has something called JQL and I'll include some links to the documentation on that. But if Trello's filters are pretty good and I never have any issues like filtering or searching for the things that I'm looking for. 
So I will say it, it works for like 99% of use cases, but Jira does let you get a little bit more custom if that's super important to you. The other thing they have in common are these views. So you can view your cards in a calendar format or in a dashboard or a table if you prefer that view. And you can see that we've actually got similar sort of views in Jira as well. So you can see them in whichever format you need to see them in. Now let's talk about what sets them apart. So Jira definitely feels like it has a lot more jargon to me. It's a lot more technical, like you've got issues, you've got subtasks, you've got epics, you've got stories. Trello with cards uh, is these items that are like supercharged sticky notes and you just kind of move them around and they work for what you need. Jira has a lot more different terms that you might need to learn and familiarize yourself with. There's a lot more settings and options and things, which is nice if you really want to configure a bunch of things, but not always so nice if you just want to quickly get up and started and running with something. So for instance, it's super easy to get started with Trello. All you need to do from anywhere is click create and say create a board and you could say my to do and hit create and you're good to go. Whereas Jira, it's gonna take you a little longer to kind of configure those sort of things. Like yes, you technically can like create something new. You would say, I want a new project or no wait, maybe I'm in the wrong place. This is the thing. It gets a little confusing to figure out exactly where you wanna start something and how you wanna set it up and what you need to group it and you'll need to configure it a bit more. There's also different learning curves. So I find Trello is super easy to send someone to, to jump right in and get started with. Like I literally have boards that I share with my partner for meal planning and for chores. She's not super technical, uh, but she can find her way around these and understands how to use them and how to get what she needs out of them without needing to learn anything complicated. I think if I sent her to a Jira board, she would probably run at me like a deer in the headlights and be like, what are we doing here? So. It's not a problem if you want to use all those things. And I like to say, depending on what you're trying to do, if you want more collaboration, that's where Trello is gonna work better. Whereas if you're trying to control things a little bit more and limit who can do what, and you're also not as worried about participation, uh, that's where maybe Jira could work better for you. The other thing I like, Trello has a super inviting UI. In my opinion, it's just so pretty and so clean. And just like, look at these, look at these boards. Like you can change the backgrounds on them to make them styled and fit whatever sort of vibe you're going for. And these labels are just so pretty and you would add stickers to things. So let's say I wanted to add like a check sticker when I've done something, um, I could do that. And that's super cool to do. I don't, as far as I know, think Jira has a lot of those options. So in here, you're a little bit limited. You're gonna have your standard sort of background and it's gonna be a little bit more locked up and buttoned up, which again is, is fine if that's what you're looking for. I also tend to find Jira works really well for developers. There's a lot of non-developer use cases that work really well in Jira. And I know some people like their meals and their chores in Jira as well. But I do think Trello works better for more of those personal style sort of use cases. Like just even if you're looking at like some of these templates, you can see that it's, if you're not a developer, there's so many things in Trello that you can do from HR things to managing leads, to organizing your nonprofit, to branding and teaching classes and things like that. And the list goes on and on. I think a lot of these things people don't necessarily think of Jira for those use cases, even if it technically can be done. And same with kind of development stuff, people do use Trello, but developers tend to, it seems, lean more towards Jira. Product managers maybe tend to lean more towards Jira for that sort of intents and purposes of features and bug tracking and things like that. The other thing I wanna call out is Trello has a very friendly mobile app. And so if you're looking to use Trello for on the go and you wanna be able to quickly add something like to a shopping list or be able to view cards in that, Trello's mobile app is amazing. I haven't used Jira's, but I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on that. So depending on what you're looking for, if the mobile app's important, you might prefer Trello. Okay, now that we've talked about the differences between them and things you can do, I wanna walk you through my framework that you can use every time you're trying to decide should I use Trello or Jira for this project or for my team or whatever the case is. So we're gonna go through these one by one, ask yourself what is most important to you and how these apply to you and it's gonna make it very clear which one you should use. So first of all, speed. How quickly do you need to get started? If you need to throw something together so you can start taking action together quickly, Trello is gonna be your way to go. Jira, sure, you'll get faster at it over time and some people can throw it together really quickly, but in general, for most of us, it's gonna be faster to get started with Trello. Two, are you looking for control or are you looking for collaboration? And what I mean by that is if you're really concerned about who can change what and who can access what and you're trying to limit who has access to certain things and make it very secure and private and some people can do this, some can do that, Jira is gonna give you a little more control over that. Trello lends itself much more naturally to collaboration. So if you're trying to actually get people to come in your Trello boards and update things and move things around, it's gonna lend itself very naturally to that because it's gonna be easy for them to do it and because you don't have to set up specific roles for people to do X, Y, Z. You can 
can limit some things in Trello, but tr Jira is gonna give you a lot more options for limiting things if that's a big concern to you. Three, adoptability. Are you trying to share this project? Are you using it with non-technical people or super technical people? If it's super technical people who already have a preference for Jira, then maybe that works for you. If it's not and they've never used any tools like this before and email is a struggle, I would definitely recommend starting with Trello. It's much less intimidating, super easy for people to get into and get used to. Number four, ask yourself about integrations. What are you trying to integrate the tool with? Is there anything that it needs to integrate with, such as tools you're already using, like Google Sheets or uh, Typeform or different things like that? Or are you an enterprise and you need to connect it with SAP or some really serious tools that you've got on the inside? That's gonna kind of shape it because Trello works really well with common integrations or no integrations really required because there's a lot of power-ups that are able to do the things you need. So think about your existing tool stack. If there's anything super specific that's like enterprise-y, you might need Jira, but otherwise you're gonna do just fine with Trello. And lastly, how important is a mobile application to you? Because Trello works really well on the go. There's a mobile app that is really well done, easy to use, and you can also access Trello on mobile in your browser pretty easily. I've heard mixed reviews about Jira on mobile. Uh, maybe there's some changes coming that'll make that better, but I would say if mobile is super important to you, especially if you want something quick, easy to use and access on the go, Trello is gonna be your winner there. So if you don't want to have to watch this video every time you're trying to think through this framework or you just want to give your friends a TLDR on which one is better, feel free to download this resource. I've actually made it accessible where you can download it and you can send it and just print it up on your walls and put it up wherever you need to so you can remember when you're trying to choose which tool in the Atlassian toolbox do you want to use for your project. Oh, also, if you need more resources about Trello, I have a whole newsletter and most of my videos on my YouTube channel are dedicated to Trello. So check the description for links to sign up for my weekly newsletter with tips, tricks, and practices for Trello and make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I'm also gonna include some links to my lovely friends who talk about Jira. We've got the Jira guy, we've got the Jira life. It's another great YouTube show that you should definitely be subscribed to and paying attention to. And Atlassian also offers a lot of courses and content around both of these topics as well. So make sure to check those out. If you found this video useful, I would super appreciate a like and a subscribe to this channel. You know the drill. Um, if you like it, you may also see the option to hype it. Uh, YouTube's rolling that out, so that's kind of cool. And it really helps like small channels like myself. So I would really appreciate that. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want to add to the debate of Trello versus Jira, or as I like to say, Trello and Jira, because both are great tools and both work together really well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.